finally did it. They finally did another plush trap skin. Let's go! If you can't tell, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm always excited when it's a plush trap skin because plush trap skins are freaking awesome. Unless your name is Frost Plush Trap. So if you can't tell, I'm excited. Number one, because it's a freaking plush trap skin. Let's go! And plush trap has that mixed reality thing. It's so cool. And number two, because the skin itself is even more amazing. I mean, just take a look at it. This is Piranha Plush Trap. Frankly, it doesn't really look a whole lot like a piranha. More looks like that, uh, that dinosaur that has the things on its side of its head. I don't know what it's called. And also, there have been leaks about his environment. It's like an underwater, like, ship. That's amazing. Now, the skin was delayed a couple of days, as usual. It was supposed to come out on Thursday. It's now Monday. I'll let Illumix off on this one. Uh, you know, because it is a plush trap skin, plush trap skin, and it does have a very unique environment and a very detailed one. Again, I, I, I really do love this skin, and you don't hear me say that often, so I'm cherishing the moment, okay? Last time a skin got delayed, they gave us the 3D profile picture, so I'm hoping they do the same thing, uh, because, again, like, three days, that's... That's a long time. Anyways, I don't really have anything else I want to say at the beginning of the video besides I really like the skin. I think it looks amazing. I think his environment from what I've seen from leaks also looks absolutely incredible. So yeah, let's hop into it. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and let's go. And there he is, Piranha Plus Trap. Looking good there, buddy. And also, like, his his icon is so amazing. I love it. It's so detailed. Usually these things are pretty hit or miss, but this one is an absolute hit. Ooh, hello there, bud. Oh my god, I love this skin. 50 bucks, damn. Oh, that's right, he's gonna be super exp- <laughs> 20 bucks? Is that how much Frost Plus Trap was? Wait a sec, I'm looking this up. Dude, I didn't realize just how expensive freaking Plus Trap is. Oh my god, dude. What? That's insane. Damn, well. There we go. Ooh, he does have a 3D profile picture. We didn't get it for free, which is weird because usually, or I guess last time they gave it to us. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna buy these though, the new profile icons. I think they look, again, absolutely incredible. And I would buy this, but like 20 bucks? Dang, bro, no way in heck am I buying that. Okay, here's the first one. Looking very good right there. Moving on to the second profile picture. There we go. Again, I think the icon and the profile pictures are very, very nice. And now let's hop into the actual fight because Plus Trap takes quite a bit to defeat if I remember correctly. Here he is. Let's activate two for now. We'll go back to the other two. We'll go back to the other two later. And there he is. All right, let's see his animation. Is it any different from Plus Traps? I don't think it is. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think it is. But here we go. Oh my god, dude, I forgot just how amazing this is. Holy crap, this is amazing. Oh my god, it's amazing. Okay, so I think we charge these up. Look behind us, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, I need to relearn all of frickin' Plus Trap's things because his mechanic is frickin' incredible. I don't remember praising this uh, new mechanic as much as I think I should because I get- Oh! Well, that was easy! That was easy. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I freaking love Plus Trap's mechanic. I think he's by far the best character in the game with the best sing singular mechanic. If you can't tell, I I love Plus Trap, man. All right, no suit, but that is perfectly fine. I'm nearly at level 10. So let me explain what happened because it went by kind of fast. With Plus Trap, he has a mixed reality mechanic, which, as you just saw, puts you in their environment instead, instead of putting them in my environment, around my room. So as you saw, uh, this new Plus Trap skin, the Piranha Plus Trap, has a incredible, incredible mixed reality, you know, like, sunken shipwreck environment. Unfortunately, it didn't sound like there was any, um, like, underwater ambiance. But yeah, he comes closer to you, um, and you have to turn to your left, turn to your right, and shock these, like, batteries. And behind you, you're gonna see a meter, and you have to get it into the green. And then you turn around, you shock him when they're in the green, if, you, if they're not in the green and you shock them, you die. If you don't charge them up fast enough, you die. So a very difficult uh, mechanic to get the hang of. But here we go, fight two. Hopefully this one goes just as smoothly. But yeah, oh. And if you charge it up too much, as you just saw, it will lock out the other uh, battery. So you can't charge it up enough. I feel like they made it lower. 
I feel like they made it lower. I don't... Are you on the ground, dude? <laughs> what? Maybe he's just like lying down. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that one's not green. Charge that up a bit. Charge this one. Okay, that is getting kind of close to overheating. Let's not do that. Okay, just bail away in the green. I don't know where he is. Let's activate these. Okay, he's just there. Okay, put that up a bit. Okay, they're almost out of the green. Charge it up a bit more. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Super easy. Super easy. Let's go, bro. So good. All right, two for two. Do we get his suit? And no. All right, the final two lures. I'm having so much fun. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I've had fun playing FNAF AR. You're probably not used to this. But I love Plus Trap. I love this new skin. It's, it's, it's definitely like A tier for me. Maybe even S tier. I don't know. I think like this is absolutely insane. A huge uh, step up from the last skin. What is that? Oh, that's where you shock him? Dude, that's insane. I never noticed that. Uh, it does use up a lot of your battery. Uh, but yeah, a huge step up from Frost Plus Trap, who was like severely broken. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, during his update. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, he... Dude, that is terrifying. Actually terrifying. Holy crap. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. I feel like they nerfed his fight. Because this, this feels very easy. Or maybe I'm just a god gamer. I, I don't know, man. All right, here we go. Any new suit? Nope. Cool. All right, dude. I mean, final fight. Let's get right to it. All right, final fight. I'm having so much fun. Oh, God. I thought it crashed there. What is that? Oh, dude. It's so good. It's so good. I don't even care that they delayed it a lot and that we didn't get the, uh, the icon because the fight itself and, like, the environment and the skin, it's all so good. Illumix, you did so good on this. I know you're probably not watching, but if you are, man, you, you guys did so good. Um, I'm assuming, and I kind of hope that this is the final skin in the event, because it's a banger one to end on. Oh, that's overheating almost. Where is he? I can't see him. Okay, we're in the green. Oh, he's right there. Come on, come on. All right, we're in the green. A bit more. No, dude, you skipped your final phase. What do you mean? Oh, dude, I nearly went 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Come on, man. I don't care. That was a good skin. That was a good fight. Good environment. What did we get? 2 XP. Not even level 10. You couldn't... Cool. Dude, I had so much fun. <laughs> I had so much fun. By far, the best skin I think they've released, maybe even this year. Definitely in the event. I think I was very happy with Dark Water Bear Endo. Like, he was so good. This whole event, kind of besides, um... What's his name? Sunken Toy Bonnie. <laughs> Took me a little bit. I think Daco had a good point in his video how Sunken Toy Bonnie uh, should have been like coral, you know, like colorful corals and all that stuff, but he was just kind of like mucky, brown, disgusting. Yeah, I feel like that skin should have been more colorful and all that stuff, um, but like this is a great skin to end on. I hope they end on the skin because I feel like they might mess up a fourth skin if they do one. But yeah, dude, like, honestly, so good. I, I can't remember the last time I've had so much fun playing FNAF AR. Like, even when I lost, I was like, you know what? That's fine, because I enjoyed the fight. I enjoy the skin. I enjoy the environment. I think small critiques, um, I think in the workshop, I believe he's still on the default, like, wooden chair. Would have been cool if he was on, like, a, like, a throne of seashells, I don't know. And then also, like, the environment, uh, the ambiance of the environment, the ambience, whatever, should have been, like, some sort of, I don't know what they could have done, but some, like, oceany, I don't know. But even that, like, that is nitpicking, I think... Yeah, I think that's maybe the only thing keeping it from S tier. I think it's a very, very, very high A. Uh, it's just missing those, like, small details. Missing those very minute details. But then again, it's like... I don't know. I, I realize I'm talking a lot just because I love the skin. And normally, I don't get to say that, so I'm expressing it a lot. But yeah, Halimix, you did good. Congratulations. You didn't mess up an event. Pogo. But yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, we have a new character soon. I know talking about characters, but like, we need one. We really need one. I think they they walked a lot on the gameplay update. They probably walked a lot on this new skin and the environment. So I'm, I'm hoping they take time and they create a new character, right? I feel like they now have two very big uh, projects off their, off their shoulders. So I'm hoping 
Hey, we can get a new character. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.